In this fraction video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at multiplying fractions by whole numbers. And this is the pizza by the fraction Mamma Mia problem. And these are the standards that will be featured in this lesson. We'll take a look at this worksheet. And you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our fraction video walkthrough lessons. And it's entitled Multiplying Fractions by Whole Numbers. And as I said, pizza by the fraction, mamma mia. And we have some directions, and the directions are in the form of a word problem. So here we go. Mario and Luigi decided to open up their own pizza shop. They call it pizza by the fraction, mamma mia. For each whole pizza, that's right, I said whole pizza, they charge $12. If you want a topping, it's an additional $3 per topping for each whole pizza. Prices are scaled according to the size of each slice. How much would they charge for each slice in the pizza shown below? And these circles represent pepperoni on that pizza. Now, first of all, let's take a look at our math job. And you can usually find that job in the question. And we have that happening in this problem. How much would they charge for each slice in the pizza shown below? And we'll go up here to the top to look for some math, math clues sentence by sentence. Mario and Luigi decided to open up their own pizza shop. That's uh, story information. They call it pizza by the fraction Mamma Mia. Again, story information for each. Uh, here we're getting to some math information. So let's take a look at that. For each whole pizza, that's right, I said whole pizza, they charge $12. And there we have our first price, and that is $12 in standard form. If you want a topping, it's an additional $3 per topping. So that's just like saying each or for every topping, they charge $3 for each whole pizza. Okay, so it's $3 a topping for a whole pizza. Prices are scaled, and take a look at that word, scaled. We see that in math sometimes, according to the size of each slice. So they're scaled according to size. Now we can think about this pizza. There are three different slices, and obviously you can see a difference in size of this slice compared to these two slices. So if the prices are scaled according to the size of each slice, you can expect that this slice to be at least twice the price of these two. It's twice the size. It'll be twice the price as well. And then you can see some addi additional toppings spread on that side of the pizza. So what we should do is really think about uh, tackling maybe these first two slices. We could do it this way. You could start with this side, but let's let's look at the smaller slices first. Now I'm thinking of a fraction. I've got one fourth it represents this area of the pizza. And kind of to make it more clear, let's take a look at dividing the whole pie, pizza pie, into let me straighten that out for you, into fourths. So we've got this imaginary line representing uh, what the pizza would look like if we divide it into four equal parts. And that's what fractions are. So let's take a look. So this would be one-fourth over here. And this would be one-fourth. And this piece, piece of the pizza over here, the pepperoni slice, was actually double that size, so you can expect that this piece over here would be two-fourths. Or if you're thinking of equivalent fractions, that would be one-half. One-half, so we could also write that. So why don't we go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to move everything over for us so we have some more space to write. So in other words, one half 
is equivalent or represents the same area of the pizza. So, now, since prices are scaled according to the size of the slices, we can also apply that here. We know that the whole pizza is $12. If you're thinking that, good for you. So, we really think of this slice over here as a slice as one fourth of the whole pizza and they would charge twelve dollars for a whole pizza and when you're dealing with fractions or, or word problems of any variety a lot of times when you see the word of you're probably thinking ah I should multiply if you're thinking that good for you that's often true so let's set it up as a multiplication problem one-fourth times 12 dollars if we wanted to show this as a fraction multiplication problem we could do that so instead of multiplying this fraction by a whole number you can simply take any whole number and write its denominator as one so when you multiply, you've got 1 times 12, or multiplying our numerators first, and that would be 12. And then we'll multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 would be 4. And then if you're thinking that every fraction is also a division problem, that would help you here. So we can set this up as a division problem. Let's extend our space here, our workspace, bump that up a little bit. And now we've got 12 as our dividend. Lives in this little house at the end of the road, dividend. We're dividing 12 by 4. Trying to find that original slice. That's one-fourth of the pizza, so we'll divide 12 by 4. And you might be thinking, okay, 4 goes into 1. Well, no, it doesn't really, so let's look at 12. 4 goes into 12 three times, and 3 times 4 is 12. We'll subtract. 12 minus 12 would equal 0. And then we need to bring down this 0. You might really see what's happening here. We've got 4 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 times 4 is 0. We'll subtract. Get 0 again. You could bring down that other 0. Or you might be thinking ahead. You probably predicted these two to be 0. Good for you if you're thinking ahead. 4 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 times 4 is, once again, 0. Anything times 0 would equal 0. A little 0 property in action for you. Subtract, you get zero. So, we can tell that that original slice we looked at up there is $3. So, we'll take a look at that. You can see that here. That would be $3. And we'll answer part of the problem here. So, this would be $3. This slice. And this slice here is the same area of the pizza, so we'll take a look at putting the same price on it, $3 for that slice. And then you could really think to yourself and logically think that 3 plus 3 would be 6, and that would be the other half of the pizza, so you could expect this other half of the pizza to be $6. If you're thinking about that and doing a little mental math in your head, good for you, but let's prove it. So we've got one half of 12, because this pizza, this slice represents half of the pizza, so we've got one half times 12. We'll show our work for that. One half of, or times, 12. We'll set it up like we did before, $12. Set over 1. Every whole number has a denominator of 1. And then we can multiply. 1 times 12 would equal $12. Remember, that's the price of a whole pizza. Divided by 2 times 1 would be 2. Okay. Again, that makes complete sense. 12 divided by 2, you could probably think that in your head would equal, it would equal $6, right? 
six dollars. But if you wanted to show your work, you could set it up like we did above here. So let's try that. We've got 12 in this case, divided by two. And it's always a good idea to show your work when you're mul when you're um, dealing with math. It's always a good idea to prove you know what you're doing. So two goes into one. Well, not really. So two goes into 12 six times because six times two equals 12. Subtract, get zero, and it's a lot like what we had going on over here. And you would bring down this zero here. Two times zero, or zero times two would equal zero. Subtract, get zero. Bring down the other zero. Two goes into zero. Two goes into zero. Zero times, because zero times two equals zero. Subtract left with no remainder and we've got a price of six dollars for that half of the pizza right well let's see if that answered our question well normally it would so half of the pizza would be six dollars however we have pepperoni on top and up here there's additional information saying that any topping would be three dollars more per pizza and since prices are scaled this half of the pizza is covered with pepperoni. That means half of the pizza is covered with pepperoni. So half of $3 would be the price of the pepperoni. Let's check that out. Ooh. Technical difficulty there. Here we go. So we've got $3 or one half of $3 or one half times three would equal, let's see, numerators, one times three would be three. You're probably thinking that good for you. Three dollars for a whole pizza covered with to one topping. Uh, or just, that's actually just the price for the topping. So then we have two times one would be two. Ah, so three dollars divided by two. You might be able to do that in your head. That would be fantastic. If you're thinking that, good for you, but let's prove it. So we've got $3, and we'll show our work with some division. $3 for a top topping per pizza, divided by 2. 2 goes into 3. Well, 1, time, one times 2 would be 2. Subtract. Get 1. Bring down the 0. We've got 10 left over down here below. And then we have to think to ourselves, 2 goes into 10. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times, ah, 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Get 0, and we can bring down this last 0 here. 2 goes into 0, naturally 0 times. So 0 times 2 would be 0. Subtract, get nothing left over, so no remainder. So this would be the price for the topping on that half of a pizza. And since the half of the pizza was $6, we proved that up above, right here. So $6, and then you add on the price of the topping, which would be $1.50. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Six plus one is seven. So there we go. We've got the price for that half of a pizza with pepperoni on it. So this this piece over here, this large section, would be seven dollars and fifty cents. And there you have it. That was a quick look at a word problem which features multiplying fractions by whole numbers. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time.